Taurus, this is Elisha Keating from Wisdom Seekers for June. And as I said in the last video, wow, it's already June. But it's going to be a spectacular month. Just wait and see. I'm sure of it. Let's see what we can find. So, huh, right on top. Very interesting. I like it when they jump up. Oh, very interesting. It is going to be a spectacular month. Helpless and hopeless. But even in the helpless and hopeless, he's looking to the horizon. And what's he seeing? He's seeing the sun. And is it setting or rising? I'm going to go with rising. The sun is rising. And he's standing there looking at it. And what is the best thing to do? When you're depressed and low, you look at the sun. It's called sun gazing. It gives you energy. It gives you ex life. So anything that has the sun in it, and it's beautiful, means that you're anything but helpless or hopeless. And then often, often tra traumas are just a way of teaching. Teaching you to... Uh, to know how to deal with your life. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. Mm. Very interesting. Again, this is a card of balance, staying in balance. Do not allow yourself to go out of balance. It's a card of patience. Be very, very patient because there are things happening in your life that you are unaware of. But they're happening for your benefit. So be patient. And well, good good reason to be patient because that's the queen or the empress. And she is abundance manifest. She is abundance in all forms. So if you're patient and allow things to happen in their own time, their own way, you will have a gift that's unsurmountable come to you this month. The, and it will be an abundance of, I'm not sure what, because everybody will receive a different form of abundance. It could be a new job, or a raise in pay, or a family member comes to you, a new family member. Some Many babies are born this month. And that is, that is one of the best abundances ever. So let's see. You have, to, you have to reckon what kind of abundance is coming your direction. So. And so we have the patience card. We have abundance. And then we have the devil. And I think in this case, the devil is leaving. Because the devil comes into your cards to force you to pay attention to certain aspects of your life. Things that you've hidden away in your deep, in your soul. And because you have the abundance, you have the strength, you have the integrity, you can reach out and into yourself, not outside of yourself. It's always inside. And look in and see what has been frightening you about yourself. 99% of the time, it will be things that have very little re actual reason for being there. Quite often, it's simple little things that happen in childhood that uh, felt so much bigger than they were. Or it could be something very, very deep. And we don't have to name those deep things because uh, everybody knows what they are, especially if it's within their own soul. But with you can allow it to come out, if you can allow yourself to look at it, if you can allow yourself to forgive that part of you, no matter what it is, then love it. Things will come together in a very spectacular way. This is actually a card, Six of Pentacles, of allowing 
different parts of your personality to come together to form a complete whole. So many times in the past, there have there we've left the piece of our energy here and piece of our energy there. So now you're bringing it all together. And when you bring all your pieces of energy together, it gives you abundance and physical abundance, spiritual abundance. It gives, but it will give you abundance because you're not you're not looking you're not guarding all these pieces of energy all over the place you have it all together and you can manifest so much faster that way let's see what the end card is okay and again it's exactly what i've been saying you've gone from helpless and hopeless to well-deserved reward and that's exactly what abundance is. It's a well-deserved reward. And bringing yourself together will increase your monetary wealth, will increase your spiritual wealth, will increase all forms of wealth. So it's a well-deserved reward. And Taurus, you definitely, definitely deserve it. Why not? You've worked very hard. Taurus is a very hard-working sign. Now... I'm going to say goodbye now. Namaste. Namasco.